Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this gentleman is in his early 40s. He complains of low back pain for more than 10 years. He finally came in to get his back imaged and he has something that looks at first glance like a, just a bread and butter finding here. This is his L3 vertebral body. And in the inferior end plate of L3, kind of anteriorly, he has a little area of abnormal signal in the inferior end plate. Very commonly, we see a little bone erosion uh, with a halo of myoedema. So certainly this could be the typical bread and butter erosion. I don't see anything on the other side though, which is a little atypical, it's really on this one side. And the other thing that really stands out is on this T1 weighted view, there's an area that's uh, intermediate signal and surrounded by an area that's really dark. So it looks like a halo of bone sclerosis, reactive bone sclerosis. If we put up the stir view here, this shows marrow edema better and we see that there is marrow edema around the outside and then there's that, that region of darkness, the bony sclerosis around it, and a little bright spot right there that corresponds to that. So one thing that can cause a little finding like this where you see a little nidus surrounded by reactive bone sclerosis and another halo of myoedema is called osteoid osteoma. It's a benign bone tumor and it really looks just like this. You get a little um, area that's a little round circle surrounded by a dark rim of bone sclerosis and edema. So this may be osteoid osteoma and it can cause uh, back pain. It's usually in people who are five to 25 years old and this person's older, but can be in any age. It can be in vertebral bodies like this. A lot of times it's in the posterior elements or sometimes it's in the fingers or long bones. So um, this is just a case that looks pretty classic for an osteoid osteoma. I mentioned it in the report. And one more thing in this patient, they have a PARS fracture back here. This is L5. If we follow this backwards here to his facet, we see there's a little break right there on one side. If we go to the other side, we see another break. So bilateral L5 PARS defects, probably old fractures. And again, this little funny lucency, or, or I'm sorry, area of intermediate signal surrounded by that halo that looks classic for an osteoid osteoma, which is a benign bone tumor. And if it is that, they can go in there and scoop out that piece of bone and heal it. And uh, they, these patients usually have pain at night relieved by aspirin and, and they can be any age but typically a little bit younger than this. They can do high resolution CT as well so I'm going to recommend that they do high res CT and to see do they see a little nidus surrounded by that bone sclerosis and if so that will increase diagnostic confidence that that's what this is. Thank you very much.